Hello everyone, welcome to DHN and we are here at DHN Forum Mumbai and today we are joined by none other than Vijay Pawar from Dell. Uh, so thank you so much for being part of uh, DHN Forum Mumbai and uh, you had a very interesting uh, conversation on the topic of cyber security. Now one of the first questions that I want to ask you is, uh, we are increasingly talking about a digital first India that heavily relies on data. But when we talk about a digital first India which is heavily relying on data, uh, cyber security is also one of the major concerns. What is the vision of Dell Technologies in terms of cyber security in India? So thank you so much for having me here. Um, as the Dell Technologies, we have a very rich and broad portfolio about data protection and cyber security, right? We understand that today customers are really valuing the data because data is a new oil, right? We need to really protect the data from cyber attacks. Now, if you look at uh, the all these uh, legacy uh, practices that customer follows today, it's all about the uh, prevention, right? We try to prevent the cyber attacks by deploying a lot of cyber security solutions, which are mainly uh, rely on the perimeter securities, uh, deploying the advanced firewalls, security firewalls. So there could be hundreds of security tools that customer normally use to. But then, uh, being the sophisticated attack today, are they enough? So it's, the answer is no, because the cyber attackers today are relying on a lot of top-notch technologies, including the AI ML. They are able to build these cyber attacks, they are able to execute their attacks, they are able to stay in the network for 100 plus days, and they, are, they know how to do it, right? Uh, the cyber industry, the cyber industry is still the $40 billion industry, right? Uh, they are having a lot of expertise within cyber security, cyber criminals. So they are able to crack it. Now, how do you really address the problem? So their technologies has the solutions which really can give the layer of defense to the customers, which starts from modernizing data protection solutions uh, as a basic solutions, and then the customers can go on the journey of uh, bringing in and deploying cyber resiliency to basically make your cybersecurity posture better, right? So we do play a role in uh, developing cyber resilience solutions in order to ensure the uh, the data from these cyber attacks, that if, if the cyber cyber attacks. Right, absolutely. So we also need to talk about in 2024, the number of uh, attacks, cyber attacks on healthcare institutions have grown exponentially. What makes healthcare data so vulnerable to cyber attack and what makes it so lucrative for the threat actor? See, the uh, cyber criminals are looking at um, the data which is most valuable to the organizations. Now, if I ask you that, um, uh, what is more important than the human life? Nothing, right? So, healthcare actually has the data which is which is related about the human life, the patient care, patient information, right? So, which is where these guys know that if I'm able to crack and compromise the security systems or the data center applications of the healthcare organizations, they are able to show short get the ransomware. So it is it is one is motivated by the nation state, which has the impact on the economy because uh, it's a growth engine for the for the country, right? So that is one. Second is the these guy knows that if they really able to attack the systems, they can really ask for ransomware. So these are different motivations by the cyber criminals. One is nation state, one is the um, um, uh, espionage. Uh, this there could be a ransomware. There are different ways the attackers are really. Uh, compromising systems and that's the reason that healthcare being the most valuable data for organizations today or uh, for human being they are able to attack these systems in the healthcare system health organizations right but uh, while we talk about why cyber security is very important and why it is important to deploy solutions to protect uh, healthcare data uh, i want to quote very interesting findings from the dell 2024 global data protection index uh, so the survey revealed some alarming numbers. 75% of the organization believe that their existing data protection measures are unable to... I talked about this in my uh, yeah, session. With yeah. these ransomware threats and 70% lacked confidence that they could reliably recover from a cyber attack. Now this rather tells us that most organizations look at cyber security as a reactive measure than a proactive measure. So uh, is it a challenge to change this perspective of organizations? Honestly, it is not a challenge, but it is the kind of awareness, uh, the enablement to the customers because many customers think that uh, by having the digital transformation in the productions, applications and stuff to improve the agility and productivity is good enough, but they really forget that we also need to have a transformation for your data production solutions, right? Because uh, we cannot really rely on the legacy techniques and tools for data productions. We need to really transform that as well. Right? So using the uh, techniques that Dell, Dell Technologies provides to the customers, we are able to see that 
uh, we can really transform that from cyber security, cyber resiliency. Because today, if you look at cyber security, many hostings has those security tools in place. What is missing or the gap is is that the cyber resiliency, which means that in case the attack happens, how do we recover back from the attack with the quickest and and, a, and the smallest amount of time? That's the mantra of the whole cyber resiliency, and which is the real technology is actually uh, able to provide the solutions to the customers. Absolutely. Yeah. For an organization, a healthcare organization, maybe a small healthcare organization, which is starting out on their digital journey and also looking at protecting their data, yeah. what are the five to do's that you would suggest? I would suggest that they should really look at um, transforming the data protection techniques and tools by leveraging on um, least privileged access in your infrastructure, by leveraging on a role-based access infrastructure, by leveraging on data immutability. Immutability is something which is like you don't allow anyone to destroy and delete your data, modify the data because patient data is important, right? We have to maintain the CIA, confidentiality, data integrity, and availability. So by leveraging on these new tools and new solutions that are available with the Dell today, uh, they can really onboard to the journey of data resiliency. So first layer is bring in the applies, bring in the solution that can foundationally change the, the way they're protecting the data. And then as a phase two, they can even go on building the cyber vault. A cyber vault is like a cyber bunker, so that it's like you know the safe that you have in house. You don't keep your crown jewels or jewelry inside house. Probably you keep it in the bank locker, right? It is a way similar from charity. It works similar concept. It works that you need to ensure that a lot of critical data for organizations to run, for the healthcare to run. If I give an example, a lot of applications run the kind of a MySQL databases within organizations. Now, what happens, you have a data, but your know, application has been compromised. Be able to access the data, the all the medical practices, they will not be able to. So, to ensure that these kind of crown jewels of the healthcare organizations has to be protected into the cyber recovery vault by building the air gap, right? So that in case of any advanced attack happens, they would be ensured, they are confident that data can be recovered from these attacks. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You have, Dell has been a wonderful partner to DHN as well. One last question, sir. What has been your experience at DHN Forum Mumbai and how did you find the conversations? Okay, this is my first event uh, with uh, DHN. Um, I find it very really good because a lot of speakers are really good, share a lot of uh, good information, sort of information to the customers and their interaction also. So I look forward to even enjoying these kind of forums and going forward uh, with the DHN. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you.